Here we are down at the Sport for Life building off Pacific Avenue. Joining me, Sam Cortez. Sam, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you? Fabulous. Thank you. So last week, we did a show tailgating with Theo with regards to sportsmanship and officiating. Let's start about talking about that one program that Sport Manitoba is getting involved with. Yeah, so it's a awareness campaign that we're doing. So it's called No Ref, No Game. Um, and it's basically an awareness campaign talking about um, promoting the proper treatment of officials and kind of reminding people of being respectful and um, being appreciative of all the work that they do. So um, you can look out for the No Ref, No Game hashtag on social media. Um, and you will be sharing all kinds of different stories of Manitoba officials and their experiences um, being the ones behind the call. So look out for that. It's a very important position. It's a thankless position because we have two teams going at each other, two individuals playing against one another, and the refs are just in a thankless position trying to make sure that they keep as much of it as fair as possible. Yeah, exactly. No, it's really important um, to get that out there and to <coughs> pardon me, hear people's experiences um, who have been offici officiating. And So definitely watch out for that on social media. So if you didn't catch our episode last week, over 50% of officials that are get involved in any sport will stop officiating in their first two years because of their treatment, their lack of respect that they receive on or during the games, as well as the lack of support they have from the fans, from the spectators, and from the players. So again, that hashtag is? No ref, no game. And look for it on the Sport Manitoba website. So that's a great campaign and great initiative. What else do we have going on for the month of February? We have another P-Series, correct? Something about... <gasps> <sighs> Some people sleep, right? Exactly. Uh, the next P-Series talks that we have coming up are Thursday, February 20th, um, right here at Sport Manitoba. Again, they're free talks. Um, all you have to do is register. Um, but yeah, the first talk we have is at 6.30, and that's on optimizing sleep quality. So um, helping athletes overcome any sleep disruptions they have, um, giving them strategies that they can actually use to help them get a better night's sleep. And then the second talk that we have is... Um, Basically, it's a student athlete university college recruitment information session, kind of a mouthful, but um, it's really helpful for athletes and their families if they're looking to play at the college university level. Um, lots of tips and information on uh, what they can do during that process. So those are both free. You can just register at sportmanitoba.ca slash p dash series. So important. We talk to athletes on a daily basis, the importance of nutrition, but also the importance of getting proper rest because the body needs to rest in between games and between trainings and all that stuff. And as well as the other piece here, as you mentioned, making sure that uh, future athletes, student athletes are prepared with the decision making and making the right decisions without potentially, you know, closing a door that they shouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. No, definitely. That's very true. Speaking of athletes, one that's retired as of recently from Hockey Canada and the female side, Bailey Bram on your podcast. Talk about Bailey Bram and how she got involved with Sport Manitoba this past month. Yeah, so we um, extended an invitation for her to come talk on our podcast, and she accepted, and she was awesome. Um, I didn't interview her, but one of my uh, coworkers did, and she's on the latest episode of the Sport Manitoba podcast, so she talks about um, her career, obviously, growing up in Manitoba, um, her decision to retire, and um, a whole bunch of other great stuff. So that episode is on the Sport Manitoba podcast, so you can check that out. Bailey Bram, good friend of the show. Enjoyed conversating, conversing with her. No, conversating is not a word. Conversing with her earlier in <laughs> September. So what else do we have for the month of February here, Sam? Um, we have a couple different things lined up. Um, I wanted to mention uh, several different events we have in the month of February. We have uh, Walk with the Doc. I think we talked about Walk with the Doc before. That's February um, 15th at 9 a.m. in the Sport Manitoba Fitness Center. We have... Um, what is it? Oh yeah, Valentine's Day weekend. We have the Sport Manitoba Fitness Center is doing a bring a friend weekend. So you can bring, if you're a member, you can bring a friend that weekend and they have free facility access. And then I wanted to remind everyone that Whiskey Festival is coming up in support of the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame, March 6th and 7th. And yeah, you can get tickets at winnipegwhiskeyfestival.com. Perfect. February is when that month is, you know, we expect the warmer weather to come because Groundhog Day and we hope Levi doesn't see or does see his shadow. So it's early spring, but still very important to be active. Great facility here uh, down here at 140, uh, Pacific Avenue. That bring a friend, that family day weekend should be lots of fun. Are right? you going to come and visit and check it out? Uh, I actually won't be here for the weekend, oh. but no, it's definitely going to be, you can bring anyone you want. So and they'll get free access. It's definitely good. Also, I want to mention, I forgot to mention, that uh, you can now submit your applications for the performance hockey program. Um, so that's going to be in the summertime, but you can submit your applications right now. And I want to mention that too, because there's a 10% discount if you 
uh, submit now up until February 14th at midnight. Um, so all the information about details about the program and for different, depending on which level you're at, it'll be different prices and different dates and things like that. So um, check that out if you're if you're interested in that. And if you just go to sportmanitoba.ca slash performance, all that information is there. Feel free to reach out to us, performance at sportmanitoba.ca if you have any questions. And yeah, that's about it. Super easy uh, website to travel around, check out things. Sam, thanks very much for joining me. look forward to talking to you at the beginning of March. Sounds good. Thank you very much.